welcome back to Pursuit for Adventure. Rob and I are on another canoeing mission, just leaving Hartley Bay behind us. Uh, this is our second time coming to this area. It's a massive, massive area, so we're gonna check out a little spot called Pickerel River and see how that goes. We just turned away from cottage country. It's so much quieter. I hope we're going in the right direction. Oh, what's going on with your rod? Oh, it's okay. All good. Caught a whole bunch of <laughs> weeds. A very weedy spot that we just turned into. What do you got? Hold up. I'm stopping. Are you on a oh, snag? On a snag? <gasps> it took me a minute to get my snag in because it was really heavy. My guess is it's pretty weedy in here because of how close the land is to each other. What was that? Oh my god. What is it? Are you kidding me? Can you hold him up? Yeah. Where is he? Holy cow. What? How many? Between what? Between 40 and 45 centimeters. It's 40, 43. Woo! Dinner! <laughs> There's a lodge. What does it say? French River Lodge. Beside us. Yeah, a bunch of London boats. Are they all Yamahas? They look all the same motors too. Ice for sale. Ice cream. Ice. Not ice cream. Ice. Go straight across? Sure. Here we are, landing. Beautiful. Campsite 669. We're gonna take you guys through a little bit of a walk through here. We haven't looked at it yet ourselves, so who knows? Wow, is that ever neat? <laughs> Big rock face. So far, no toilet paper on the ground. That's great. Oh, lot. Wow. Nice. Awesome. Good place. Yeah, and it has the blue, round blue signs for 
the treasure chest. See how far that is away from our camp. It's a little hike back here, that's all right though. I'd rather that than it right beside where you park your tent. Oh, look! The first fresh blueberry of the season. Do you know what that means? What? Oh, yeah, of course we are. <laughs> Yummy. Holy, is it ever a hike? Ah, first fly in my eyeball. Well, if I have to go in the middle of the night, you're coming with me. <laughs> Making us go around in circles. Holy smokes. Typically I... Oh, hey. Is there such a thing? <laughs> She's way over there. <laughs> In the bush. Alrighty, good enough. Let's go back. Wow. Quite the rock. Oh my goodness, these horse flies are going to drive me squirrely. Gotta get the thermosol running. Rob's just battering up our fish fillets. And gonna use some grape seed oil, right? Are you? Yep. Yeah. Some grape seed oil in order to cook them. I've been carrying this bottle around with me for the last uh, five years, so I don't catch anything. Chunk this up and make it a little easier. Oh, shorts. Gonna pour us some wine. Little tip, if you like to bring wine in these little chiropack GSI kind of thingies, grab a Boda box and you can fill up two, and if you're going for more than one day, and you can have, it's more economical that way. Have a little bit left at home for another time. We're not drinking all of this tonight. <laughs> uh -huh. In case anybody's worried about us out in the bush having too much wine. There. It'll be great. This will save the rest for our steaks later. They're out there resting, I guess you could call warming up in the lake. Because Rob's little hack for the, the uh, cooler seems to be working really well. What's the temp? Maybe you should show the camera the temp. So, uh, 
<laughs> no power, but it's minus 10. <laughs> In the cooler. In the cooler. For all you science nerds, how did I do that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can do a run through of the cooler mod at some point this weekend. Or this week, I guess. I Trade should. secrets. Trade secrets. They're all over the internet, but it's a cooler that we've had for a long time and it's working. We'll, we'll uh, tell you how well it works at the end of the trip and if all of our frozen foods stay as frozen and as cool as we would like them to for this trip. Last trip we uh, we had some steak and spaghetti which was great but um, neither one of us are really a fan of the backup food, backcountry kind of stuff. Dehydrated. Well, the, the, uh, freeze dry is okay but yeah. All right. Okay. You want to tell her? Show off here. Oh yeah. No guarantee there's not a bone in there. No, nope, but that's part of eating fresh fish, right? Well, give her a go, Jen. Is it gonna be super hot though? It might be. Yeah, it is. Should have brought some tartar sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing to add to the cooler. I'm not lifting no more stuff. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Very good. Well worth the catch. Did you catch it? No. You caught the first fish this time. Did you clean it? No. Of course it's worth it to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite thing is eating them. Mm. Great. All right. We're going to just finish our little fishy snack and set up camp after this and that's about it eh? Uh -huh. Hunker down for the night and then we'll be on our way again tomorrow morning. Hey guys so since the last episode where we were on the uh, French River we uh, have changed our setup in the tent a little bit. We were completely I wouldn't say completely uncomfortable but not comfortable um, as comfortable as we would like to be. So we ended up buying a new mat and new pillows. The pillows are, gosh, what are they called now? I think these are the Thermarest pillows. Um, and this will be our first night using them, so we will have to get back to you on that, but we each got one. We found that at a minus, or not minus, <laughs> Canadian here, I'm always thinking minuses. Um, at, it went down to 11 degrees last weekend, the last weekend we were here, and we had just had our mountain equipment co-op blanket, which I think this is rated for five degrees Celsius, and we both froze. We also added, for extra warmth, the Argo Thermarest. Uh, I believe it's a queen size blanket because we weren't warm enough the last time we rode here and it went down to about 11 degrees. Um, what else did we? We found a queen size sheet from Walmart to cover our new mat. And the new mat is the what do you call it? I know it's right under here. Oh, the Mountain Equipment Co-op uh, mat. I don't know. I'll put a link in the description in case you want that. It's about two inches thick. We expect it to be a lot more comfortable than the other Thermarest mattresses that we have that were just singular. And hope like heck that these pillows are much better because those blow up mountain equipment co-op blankets or pillows were giving us sore necks and sore shoulders when we were laying all night. So the final review will be at the end of the weekend and we will tell you what we like and don't like about the current setup.
Can you touch there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Waist deep. Okay. Oh. 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 <coughs> There's a bit of current. There's always a current around here. <laughs> Oh, it's slippery. Hey guys, back at camp. We just had a little swim. Freshen up for the night because it's been a warm paddle and warm getting set up. Ooh, I got a bug biting my back between my shoulder blades. Rob's building a fire and I'm going to season up the first steak. My steak goes on first because I like my steak well done. I know that's weird and not a lot of people like it like that, but that's how I prefer all of my meat. Well done. Okay. So, let's see which one is the thinnest. I prefer a thinner steak too. Kosher salt. Take a pinch. Now, some black pepper. Freshly ground black pepper. That's it for me. Cooking on the fire pit. Well, while Rob is back there setting up our chairs on the rock, I am going to move his steak out of the way, which I've already seasoned, and I'm going to use this pan, and we bought these new little veggie saver thingies at uh, independent grocers and you can fit quite a lot of veggies in here amazingly enough so I'm gonna take a few and that's what we're gonna have tonight I know it's the same thing as last time we went backcountry camping but you do what you like and you do what is simple I did bring lots of other veggies for um, the remainder of the weekend because we're changing the rest of the meals up and that should be good enough I'm going to use grapeseed oil for the cooking part uh, and the oil and I'm just going to salt and pepper it make it real simple tonight steaks are coming along nicely Time to put our veggies on. Perfect, let's go eat. Oh, he's back again. I think by the time this bit of firewood goes down, we'll have no sun left. Well, it's gone now anyway. Mm -hmm. It'll be completely dark. We start piling it up. Yep. Packing up for the night. I'm gonna leave our chairs out though, eh? Yep. Rob thinks he's got a fish on. No, I got a snag. Oh, you got a snag? You said that last night and it was a fish. <laughs> oh, he's real stuck, is it? No, it's a fish. Looks like we got a, oh. a brunch happening here. Oh I hope my we... god. Is it a pike? How big is it? Holy hell! Oh my god! 